Hello everyone, it's Citizen and welcome to a brand new video in the scenes for today we are doing the last townhouse of the townhouse series, the San Francisco townhouses. We already have two videos up on the channel so if you haven't checked those two out, there should be the latest videos before this one. So if you go on the channel, you should find them pretty easily. Uh, otherwise, there should be a playlist as well called the San Francisco townhouses or whatever, kind of something like that. Uh, I'm not sure yet because I haven't uploaded <laughs> videos yet. So um, this is the last townhouses that we're doing is the cream townhouses uh the team cream townhouse if you haven't checked the other two townhouses we did the blue townhouse in the last part and the first part was the green townhouse and the overall build uh so this is the last one this is the cream townhouse and the cream townhouse is very much inspired by modern contemporary builds it's very contemporary very modern there's this beautiful big galley kitchen that I really really like. It's, you can see me just constructing it right now. I really love this galley kitchen. The entrance is pretty small, but the reason is I decided to do kitchen and like the dining and the living room at the back of the house. So this is kind of a weirder layout in respect of the others. So if you come in, you go through the kitchen and you go straight into the living and dining. It's not really something that is very usual, especially in like older homes. Um, but since this is inspired by modern homes, I figured it wouldn't be very like, super, super, super weird. It's still fun. And uh, the entrance is nice, it's just kind of smallish, but it works, it's fun. There is some stuff that you can do, you can read a book, you can check a plant out, or you can sit down. Uh, so it's not like super unuseful, but uh, yeah, I understand that maybe um, some people are like, why did you do that? <laughs> but uh, the reason is, I wanted to have the living room at the back and make it a little bit bigger. Since I try to make each layout uh, of these townhouses a little bit different, and uh, yeah, that's that's how this one turned out. I like it. Uh, as always, you can download this house from the gallery right now. It's on the gallery. You can search hashtag SillySimics or my username, which is SillySimics, like you're on YouTube about the spaces. Or uh, you can also just skip to the end of this video. There should be screenshots of this blue house if you don't want to check my voiceover. And if you don't, I'm very, very much hurt by that because my voice is super not... Uh, no, it is. It is super annoying. I, I understand. Um, but I like doing voiceovers, so you're gonna stick with that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want me to upload a video of me uh, building, but without any, any any of my voice in it, like let me know in the comments down below why. Why don't you know? Why don't you want my beautiful voice <laughs> in the videos? <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Um, I don't think anybody ever said to me like oh you shouldn't do voiceovers like people like voiceovers right do you guys like voiceovers i always do voiceovers for me i think there's literally one video on my channel that is without my voice no i'm kidding i did a couple of much mach machine machine machinimas 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 i never know how to say that uh but like the quote-unquote film uh type of content i did a series about like that uh it's just three episodes and in the first one i actually talk because i'm i'm explaining what's happening um which is super bad because usually you shouldn't have to explain um thinking about it it's not that great of a no i'm kidding it's actually very good so i actually really like it but um yeah uh, yeah uh, i talk in the first part uh while well, in the other two parts there yeah, is actually silent and um I do have another video that I remember I didn't do a voiceover for, uh, for which is a Kaz video. But all the other videos I think are a talk, like in some way, shape or form. Um, actually, there are also some videos where I show my face. So, you know, uh, I'm not super secretive. I don't know what I was about to say. Uh, but here is the living room. You can see it's nice, pretty light living room, very colorful, a lot of yellows and yellow reds and like very warm colors i wanted to get like very like i wanted to go warm because we did two townhouses before and one i guess that green is not that cold uh as in color scheme but it's kind of cold still and the blue one is definitely very cold color scheme because it's very blue very light um like there are whites there are like creams and there is a lot of blue well so in this one i really wanted to go another direction so i went with uh, a more creamy uh colorful and warm color scheme 
Um, so this is the bathroom downstairs. I'm gonna change up these double doors with a single door because I was like, why do we need a double door in the bathroom? We don't. Uh, it's cool to see, but it's like not really needed. So I changed it up for this one. And it's also a little bit easier to do the layout with the um, like tub and sink and toilet with this. Um, so it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, just adding a little decoration, this bathroom is nothing crazy, like all my other bathrooms. Again, this townhouse, like the others, are, it's gonna have so many bathrooms. I don't even remember how many bathrooms are in this house. So, we are starting with the bedrooms. So the bedrooms are pretty fun, all of them. Um, not super, like, colorful and crazy, except maybe a couple of the kids' bedrooms are gonna be on more of the colorful side, but all the others are very, like, this one, light, creamy nice the master bedroom actually i don't remember what color scheme i want with master bedroom i completely i'm blank now guys oh i guess we're gonna see but i mean i wanted to talk about that uh, i guess i'm gonna talk about this bedroom a little bit it is uh, probably like in my mind is obviously for a teenager so there is a desk there is some stuff that you can do it's a nice bed it's fun it's nice uh, so this is one of the kids' bedroom. Yeah, actually, yeah, this is a double bedroom, so there are two beds in this one, which is fine for kids. Um, if you want to get rid of one, it's pretty easy. And uh, uh, I, I always like having two bedrooms, um, uh, not two bedrooms. I was like, uh, well, when I'm having children's, I don't always like having them in separate bedrooms. Seeing this and thinking about my 100 baby let's play that I, is on total hiatus, I know guys, I'm sorry. Um, but seeing this and thinking about that let's play, I have a big, 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 big house and every child has his own bedroom. So actually I'm lying, maybe I do. <laughs> maybe I do love having separate bedrooms. Uh, but in this case, I think it, this works out pretty nicely. There is a lot of stuff that they can do. There is a nice desk where they can do their homeworks. There is a nice activity table. There is a lot of colorful things. But, you know, as I said, the overall color, like, it's colorful because there is so many colorful objects in it. But overall, the furniture and, the, like, the flooring and the walls, it's very light, light and creamy and basic and neutral. It's just colorful because of all the other stuff that's in it. So if you take all the like colorful stuff out, it's very basic, like cut and clean bedroom as well. Other for, from the fact that it has two beds. So here is the master bedroom. Uh, oh yeah, actually I go with these darker uh, colors. I remember now I go with this, I chose this bed uh, and it has this nice color scheme of like dark brown and dark, like how am I gonna call it? Uh, it's in Italian. That color would be petroleum green, uh, translated, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna call it petroleum green. Um, and uh, it has that dark and the orange as well. I really like the orange pop. Uh, so I went with that color scheme for this bedroom and I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, I really, really like it. Um, and uh, yeah, it has a nice closet part that I'm building right now. And there is a bathroom right near this um, bedroom. And it's not directly connected to this bedroom, but it's on the same floor and it's basically just outside. So it's not like a non-suite, but it's basically the bathroom, the, bath the bathroom for the master bedroom. And uh, yeah, it works, it's fun, it's nice. And there is this little, nice, like, little space for the clothing like stuff. I really like that. Um, so here is the bathroom that I was talking about, it's nothing crazy, again, a uh, very basic bathroom, there is all the stuff that you need, it, everything works, there is some decoration here around, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Um, it's a nice bathroom, it's, it's fun, it's okay. So here upstairs, um, there is this nice big spacious area. And I decided to go with like a creative space. So there is this bed, there is like a piano and a guitar, there are some bookcases. So you would come up here and chill. It's like another living room, I guess. Um, but also we like the, the music stuff, um, which works. It's it's fun. It's, it's a fun space. And it's something that I never do in my houses, which is like... It, but technically this is like a landing right because it's just the landing of the stairs but it's since it is kind of a bigger space i decided to go with this like living room and up here there is another bathroom and there's gonna be a bedroom so technically this would be like the living room before the bedroom of this like teenager that's living in this bedroom that we're gonna do in a second like 
how cool is that? That you are a teen with your own bathroom and living room. Love that. Um, but here is the last bedroom. I think this is the last one. Um, no, actually, yeah, it is the last one. Um, it's just a very neat little bath bedroom, very teenager, very... Um, there is like this light, this beautiful light. I don't know why, why when I put in dot, that light, that pink light, I felt like this is a TikToker room because TikTokers people, like the people on TikTok always have crazy lights going on. I don't know why. I guess it's like a trend. Um, and that, that's how it felt <laughs> immediately. Um, and there is also an easel here, so probably this thing is more on the artistic side. And that's exactly also why there is also the stuff outside for music. So they are very artsy and music and art oriented. And uh, a little bit messy, just some books here, thrown here and there. And some posters as well, because those are always cool and they look great. Um, a little pop plant hidden here and we are doing the outside um, again a little gardening area like in the first townhouse you can see me uh, recopying some stuff and there is a bin as always and a barbecue because we have a barbecue in every house like this and it's nice it's a little little spot where you can chill out um, I think we're basically done honestly with this uh, so if you haven't checked the other two parts out, I highly, highly, highly suggest you do those. Um, obviously, there are going to be the screenshots of this house in this part, but every part has the screenshot for each part of for each house. Um, so obviously, if you want to check those out, I highly suggest you do. This is the cream town house, but we also have the blue and the green one. You can see uh, there's just next to them. And again, you can download them on the gallery right now. Here are the screenshots, this is the outside of this house, it's pretty neat, very like cut and clean, very neutral with the creams, and this is the inside, I really love this kitchen. This kitchen is probably my favorite part of this house. Like I love the, the idea of a galley kitchen and you, sh like, you see at the end that there is the other whole space, I really like that. Um, so I really like it. I did change the, the lamps you see in between parts. Like I took a screenshot with the low hanging lamps from Tiny Living, but it was the medium height walls one because we have medium walls in this one. And it was, uh, maybe those are too short. So I did change them with the longer one. Uh, but I guess this is probably it. These are the last screenshots. There are a couple of screenshots, obviously, of each bedroom. Uh, this is the lighter one. This is oh, obviously bathrooms because I, I have so many bathrooms. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, a lot of screenshots of those as well. I really like this kid's bedroom, obviously. Very, very neat. Uh, it's actually super, super cute. Um, and uh, yeah, I like that every bedroom basically has their own bathroom. Also love, love, love the color scheme in this bedroom. I really love that dark, like, petroleum green. I love that. Um, but I guess we are basically done. These are the last screenshots. Um, I'm gonna thank you so much for watching this series, this speed build series. If you have other ideas for other builds that you would like me to see, let them, let, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, write them out. I love doing suggestions. This was a suggestion from you guys on Twitter. So, Great, loved it. Uh, I really loved doing the townhouses. Thank you so much for the suggestions. Um, but yeah, I guess this is it. You can download it on the gallery. Here, we are done. Check out the other parts if you haven't already, because those are great as well. Uh, if you like this one, you would like the other ones as well. Uh, I guess this is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Put on notifications so that you know when the next video is coming out. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.